What's up, fellow Lords of Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Future Fight. Today, we are going to take a look at the event quest and break down these rewards. So we basically, these event this event quest is no different than the normal event quest that we get for every update. You have the daily missions and to collect these tokens. That's not the event that I want to cover because that's the same as usual. What I want to cover is a seventh year anniversary event shop, which is these items listed below, where they want you to basically do things things in order to acquire, uh, you know, uh, uh, at the end, basically what you will acquire is this mega uniform upgrade uh, ticket right here. See the mega uniform upgrade ticket. That item is very valuable, especially if you have characters in your inventory, like Luna Snow, for instance. Luna Snow is a highly popular character. She's an OG character. Unfortunately, she's a paywall character, right? And what that means is your ability to level up her uniform is going to be dependent upon your ability to acquire her bios. Well, that means that you if you want to uniform, if you want to upgrade her, you're going to have to collect these bios by paying into the nine ninety nine. But if you have a uniform upgrade ticket, which I have none available now, and you can see that this is a forty dollar value inside the shop, right? Um, you basically have the ability to level up characters who are exclusive in nature. So for instance, Electro is another character. He's really popular right now because he's probably the number one ranked speed villain in the game. Um, I still haven't finish awakening him all the way. I've got him up to 70. I haven't completed his gears yet, but his uniform, if you notice, I haven't been able to touch that uniform because in order to receive Electro's bios, I have to do what? I have to go and make that purchase because he's behind a paywall, which means I'm going to need probably one of those uniform upgrade, uh, uniform upgrade tickets or a mega uniform upgrade ticket to get this guy to max inside his uniform. So there's a lot of value inside these events and being able to complete them. So this is something that you definitely want to be doing on a daily basis. Make sure I've actually missed out on this before um, and make sure that you're doing this. So that way it's not that difficult. If you look at the Y, the R, the A and all of these events inside here, we've got combined story fragments from normal. They didn't even actually do it in ultimate. They said in normal combined story fragments from normal dimension clash alliance battle participate eight times alliance battle participate four times. So this is interesting, right? Because basically it's a, a cumulative effect here where they want you to do four and eight and you're basically you can't complete compete in alliance battle, but so many times in order to complete this. So you're going to have to take some time every day logging in to do those world boss. They want you to complete that 27 times. Well, you're not going to be able to complete it 27 seven times unless you log in every day for at least the next five days, well, six days in order to complete this because you only get five runs inside world boss, right? So you got nine, eight, and then 27. ESO eight, they want you to change the ESO eight set 50 times. That's a lot. That's actually a lot. That's a lot. Well, I didn't even think they would do that. That's actually a lot to change the ESO eight set 50 times. Wow. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Then we have to equip a two star or higher artifact one time, equip an extreme obelisk or a CTP. Those are pretty easy to do. Equip enchanted Uru or Odin's blessings. That's pretty easy, especially since it's Uru or Odin's blessing. They want you to clear legendary battle five times. So you can do that. And this is the daily ones I think I'm into now. Yeah, I'm into daily ones. Okay. So ne <laughs> never mind those. That's the daily. All right. So these are the seventh year anniversary shop events. Now, coming inside the event shop, you're automatically going to be given this purchase price inside here. You can make the purchases for the 300 to get the extra 350 um, event tokens or the 880 tokens that are part of the Doctor Strange event. We normally see these. All right. And that's going to enable you to purchase some of the rewards inside here. So some of the top rewards are basically going to be premium comic card chests, the dimension, the dimension chests for CTP and the tier two mega advancement ticket as well as the four star artifact. So unless you are sat at a point where you are in the beginning stages of the game, the tier two mega advancement ticket paid dividends for me as I was building up my character roster. I only have a very select few characters that I haven't tier two yet, but these are always nice to have, especially when you don't have free to play characters and you have some of those exclusive characters where you're going to need bios in order to get from the one stage to the next. These are really great for those and they're nice to hold on to. So I have like about two or three usually floating in my inventory 
inventory. And as long as I've got those, then I feel pretty safe for the next rolling update. Other than that, you're probably going to want to purchase the Dimension uh, Chess to get the premium comic cards, because if you don't have a comic card roster, that's going to enable you to basically complete some higher level stages of events. Not like you have to have a whole hell of a lot of pierce and concentration, but these cards are pretty much central to the game. That's why they are played out across the game. Like Wolver Thor in his Marvel Future Revolution video recently talked about, you know, how comic cards need to be across the board uh, and they need to not be limited and restricted with exclusive stats and things like that to just one character. And I agree with him fully. Marvel Future Revolution has uh, as well. And especially when they start getting into nickeling and diming you to rank up stars inside the game, which is coming, I guarantee you. Uh, the Dimension Chess, the, the, the thing about the, this Dimension Chess is that it's not a selector. It is literally a roll of the dice. So you could end up doing that whole event and paying the 650 and then end up with a CTP of patience refinement or something like that. And freaking, you know, yeah, so it, it could end up bad for you, whereas opposed to like if you went to the premium comic card chest and you looked at these across the board, all of these are beneficial to you realistically. Um, you definitely going to want the Crescent IO, Luna Snow, White Fox, the Civil uh, War, um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, these are really good. I, I use I think I'm still using my Black Panther card inside there. Um, these are definitely good cards to get no matter what you get, not to mention the premium cards have usage for you outside of just collecting them there down the line the artifact event is the artifact is really good as well there's not a whole host of characters inside here so it's like one of those things where it's like do you really want to because if you look at the artifacts that are available none of these artifacts are going to make or break your gameplay so you don't really necessarily need these um out of the pool of characters inside of here um yeah you don't really need any of them maybe scarlet witch uh, maybe the electro, uh, it, it's none of these are going to break, break the game in any way, way, shape or form for you. And, um, then we've got the Titan records. I've never really purchased the Titan records because I prefer to just grind them out inside of world boss legend. And eventually I'll collect them. Um, that's just it. The rest of the items are what they are. You know, these three star rank up tickets, the four star, those usually can come in handy. Um, and then down the pool here. So like eventually I'll just end up using those extra 50 tickets for energy, which is what it what it just bears down to. So overall, not a bad event shop inside there. So I would I would highly take a take a look at those items in terms of completing those. Make sure you're logging in for the next seven days to complete these events. Essentially what I'm telling you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Until next time, peace.